yeah hello everyone uh, uh as we know that the uh, heroku service is no longer providing free service so i am sharing this video to how to uh, deploy any backend server uh, mainly i have uh, made a video of the backend server but i am making this video to deploy any mock server that, uh, just like json mock server so i have one file uh, json mock server which i have deployed uh, on github you can see here and if you want these files you can directly uh, clone my repo i i will provide the link in my comment box so you can uh, clone this application whole application now we will learn that uh, how to deploy this uh, json server in on render and how to use it so first of all you you will just clone my this uh, whole app and you will see uh, this type of uh, files where you will just make one dot git ignore where you have to ignore node modules and packet or uh, packet logged of json files and here you will see db.json where according to your needs you can change the uh, api link uh, as if you go in the localhost slash user you will get uh, data according to this and if you go slash account according to that you can set your data according to your needs so uh, and in every uh, projects or uh, assignment if you want to uh, use the json server you can directly update this uh, object and push to the uh, main uh, on render server it will automatically be updated so first of all uh, we have used this uh, slash user and i have made just a simple object with the key id title and is completed so what we will do we'll just uh, as I have already created, it's my own repo. You will just uh, clone this one and you will push this repo in your main uh, repository like this one, not in any uh, organization or uh, anything. If you uh, place anything in your organization, if you are working in any organization, it is private. So you should make a new repository with the owner as yourself and and push all the code whatever you have cloned from my uh, repo to that uh, personal repo and it should be public so you should uh, be marked as public now what it happened you will push that repo and you will get that link yeah just like this it is a uh, i push this server here and here's the link of my github what i will do just copy this link now what is the step next step you just go on on render and sign up here make an account and after that you will get a uh, new tab here you just click here and here you have to choose web service for the backend and uh, for the front end also you can use here you can use static site so for the backend we will use web service just don't skip anything uh, or for forward this video so if you will do like this you can miss anything uh, so after some time it will give you a connector repository if you want to connect the repository you can do, do that or else you can just paste your link uh, it should be public yeah i am just pasting this and i will do continue now it will ask for some name so i will do json mock cp now it will ask from origin it uh, just uh, leave it at as it is and environment will be node uh, build command is yarn and the start command should be also this only uh i think node server.js i think yeah it should be server.js change this one node server.js now what you have to do just create web service and wait for a minute so that it can be deployed yeah it's showing progress uh, first of all it will just uh, take your all the data from your github and it will uh, push to their own uh, repo because they also have a backend data where they store so at the starting i have just pushed the uh, log json pack the so it's one uh, showing me a warning you don't push that uh, packet uh, log json into your git repository then you will not get any error like this 
it's just a warning it's not an error so it's generating just wait a uh, wait a minute it will be generated and we can use as we need okay it is taking time it will take a time we'll just wait And sometimes what it happened that uh, we uh, done any uh, wrong operation of fetch or delete. So what uh, what we can do just upload the same repo again or edited JSON uh, file, then it will automatically be uh, re uh, built this whole application in the re render. You don't have to do again whole process. You just have to push the uh, repo. I will show the, this also. Uh, then first of all, we will just see the that build command the whole application will run so waiting for that yeah we can see that it's built uh okay it's showing module not found i think something is wrong okay what i will do in git ignore just remove this one just ignore uh node module file and now we will say send this. Wait a minute. Get add. This one and master. So we have pushed to your our gate. Now what it happened? Re render uh, automatically takes the. Uh, commits and it will re okay i just refresh it it's not taking uh it's maybe some error is it updated or not Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, this repo is wrong repo link. Sorry. Okay. Okay. What was here? Yeah, yeah. This one is uh mine repo, new repo. Oh, okay. I will provide this link. Uh, don't worry. This is a correct repo. Okay. The link was uh error because of the link. Don't worry. Uh, what we will do? You will uh, learn new thing also if we want to. Uh, uh delete this application so how it can you do just go this setting and down we'll just do delete web service and but yeah delete web service now we would uh, again the process uh web service and from here we will copy the mock server link this is my link that was old one sorry for that it will take a just a minute don't worry uh let's see here it's already a uh, node server.js it picks up from my uh, folder so yeah now it's in progress Okay, for your uh, convenience, I will just pause this uh, recording and start from when it's uh, get de uh, deployed. Okay, uh, now we can see that the build is successful. And if you want to check our application, you can simply click on this. Uh, it will take time. Okay, it is in, it's still a progress. Okay, so it's running live. Okay, it's in live. Yeah, now we can see that the JSON server is live and we can use our user. If we click the slash user, we are getting the data. Sometimes what it happened, uh, by mistake, you have done any wrong operation and the 
title is changed or anything is done so what we can do as it is from our github so or if we want to uh, use this uh, json server in any other project we can simply make another endpoints like accounts now we can define the uh, objects like id one sorry id one and like uh, i want to make any student student name or i think same name xyz and their role number just like that i am just making a sample uh, if you need an another data like this so what we will do just yeah now we just get add and push this uh, document to our github repo as we have just uh, provided the uh, github url it will be auto deployed you can see after some time it will go for a deploy yeah you can see that deploy started for server one that means new commit has been done and it will be uh, auto deployed and you will get uh, the link in just a minute yeah because it is it will do again uh, it will take uh, less time uh, as we can see uh, the previous link if we go to the accounts it will return a null array so we will wait the deployment is on the go so we will just wait for the deployment this is very uh, comfortable if we uh, for this that uh, only we have to commit to our github and it is auto deployed and we don't have to make a, another uh, json server for every assignments and projects we can use the same just we have to replace the endpoints in the uh, db.json and push that to our github repository so we, we are just waiting for the build command to be run and i will provide the uh, github url uh, to my comment box so you can just copy that and you can uh, clone from this url I will make this uh, repository public and I think it is public only. Yeah, it is public only. So you can uh, just uh, fork it. If you have any problem in uh, uh, cloning the this uh, repo or anything else, you can just comment it out in, our, in, in my comment section. I will just uh, reply there how to resolve it. Okay, now you can see it is, uh, it is live now. Now we will go to the same link see the link is not changed only the endpoint see now you can see the uh, data is updated i think uh, hope you have liked this video and just comment out whenever you need and if you uh, if this video helped you then you can like and subscribe my video uh, sorry channel thank you bye bye